guys it's your girl sky i'm back with another reaction video today we got this man getting called out for saying this and i'm gonna just say i got a little bit of a different perspective on this i think i'm gonna actually show the the comment section on this video as well and, and talk a little bit about it um but don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that like button please and thank you and leave your comments down below on what uh and tell me what you think about the video but without further ado let's go ahead and get into it what's up y'all i'm chilling i'm in the hood i'm in south central right now south central los angeles chilling at my grandparents house um this is just food for thought ladies i'm talking to women between the ages of 16 to about 25. You're not too young to settle down. You're not too young. You don't have your whole life to find love. Okay? My grandparents, still together. I'm right in front of their home right now. Been together since my grandmother was 17 and my grandfather was about 18 or 19. All right? Um, and they still together. That's when you find love when you're young. Stop listening to these women who telling y'all, uh-uh, you don't need to be with him. I mean, and this man is a good man. I mean, you got your whole life. You got to experience the world, travel. Don't listen to that lie. It's a lie. You'll miss out on a great man if you let that great man go that you met when you were between the ages of 16 and 25. And you're going to be 35 or older looking back like, dang, I had a good girl. I mean, oh, that's me. That's me. I said good girl. See, that's me. But you're going to be like, I had a good man. You're going to be looking back when you're in your 35. 35 and older. I had a good man. Dang, I wish now he married. He got kids. Look, you're going to be uh, peeking on his Instagram, looking at his live, live, live his happy life with his new girl. That could have been you. So don't let that good man go. You got a good man and you between age 16, 25. Hold on to him. Marry him. And y'all figure out life together. Don't listen to no friends that don't got a man. Don't listen to no friends that's telling you you should leave. Because men, we don't tell our boys, oh, you should leave her. You shouldn't put up with that. The only time a man would say that is if a woman is cheating on a man. Then a man would tell his boy, you need to dump her. If it, if it ain't cheating, man, we don't advise our boys to leave their women. We just let them vent. We be like, man, well, y'all have figured it out. And that's how we do it. So, ladies... You find a good man between them ages, don't be like Lori Harvey because she's going to regret leaving Michael B. Jordan. Get that hoe about 10 years, 10, 15 years. Trust what I'm telling you. Did he just say 16? No way. Wait, did he just say 16? Okay, guys, so I will stop this right here and I'm going to go down to the comments because, uh, Basically, what's next in this video is she's showing a lot of people in there um, how they feel about it or whatever. And how they feel basically reflects in the comment section as well. <laughs> like, okay. Do you guys see this? Anyone still in their teen years is not a woman disgusting predator. Like they're calling this man a predator and just all kind of stuff. And I honestly don't think he was coming from a place of where he was trying to groom young women. I just think that that's a, a stretch. That's a little bit of a stretch. To me, what it seemed like what he was saying was that if you are lucky enough to find love at a younger age, 16 to 21 is normally around the time kids start dating and things like that. So regardless of if y'all are saying, you know, 16 isn't a woman and all this other stuff, all of you know that you started dating, if not around 16 before 16. <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> all he's saying is if you're lucky enough to find love at these younger ages, don't let it go. Fight for it. Don't, you know, let anybody come and whisper in your ear and tell you that you shouldn't be with that person or tell you that, oh, you got plenty of time to uh, find a man because that just simply is not true. And that's exactly why you have these older women hitting the wall. Okay. You have these older women <laughs> that uh, don't have anybody in their life that probably found a really good person and let them go. 
which is what he was saying he did not saying this is for me like the 16 year olds are for me but he's saying it's for me as in I did this when I was younger. Like I was this 16 year old or whatever, 20 something year old that had a really good girl and I let her go and I regret it. That's what he's saying. He's saying that he regrets letting a person go that he, he deems w would probably have been a really great fit for him had he stayed. And that's all he's saying. You guys are making it seem like he's trying to say, oh, 16 year old, save yourselves for me. And like, he's just really giving off hard credit, credit. Look, he's giving predatory vibes. He says, good girl and good man. And like, no, you guys are stretching. You guys are stretching so hard. This man wasn't saying nothing like that. Like y'all are so quick to try to find a way to victimize. I mean, to uh, bully somebody, excuse me. I'm sorry, but just because they said they said something that you didn't like, and that's not cool. You don't want people bullying you when you say stuff that they don't like. Everybody has an opinion. And I feel like this should have just been that, his opinion. But anyway, every one of these women are going to wind up hitting the wall. Like most of them stating they want the traditional lifestyle. They're so uncomfortable with, but, but they're so uncomfortable with their traditional role. Well, that's how you get what you want. Like you, you guys are confused for some odd reason. If you notice that this is what people have been saying to you all your life and nothing is changing within the dating pool. If you go back to those same people that you are saying was saying um, to uh, just chill and go to college and travel the world and meet people and do all this other stuff. And then you can find what you need to find as far as your family goes later. They're not they're not benefiting you. That's not benefiting you because later on down the line, you're going to want to already be retired. Okay. You're going to want to already be able to sit back, chill and enjoy your grandchildren. But if you're waiting until you're 30, 40 years old to settle down after you've been ran through by the mob. Okay. How do you get to that point of, of, of an empire of something you can look back on and be proud of? I, I, I do believe that you should start earlier. I mean, I'm not saying that you should be a child when you start your family, but if you are lucky enough to find somebody that you love, you should hold on to that. Not saying, oh, at 16, start trying to have your family and all that. No, you, definitely not. You should definitely be building together then at that point because you don't have any responsibilities as far as kids wise. So there's nothing holding you down in order for you to go and build, you know, get your house get your cars, get your life together, things like that, get your savings, get everything together. And then after you're prepared, then you start your family. And that's why it's good to start young because you guys, if you're if you're anywhere between the age of 20 and 30, you know what the struggle is trying to figure out things and get out on your own and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that shouldn't be done with kids. Unfortunately, a lot of people do end up going through that period of life with kids, but like it's it's just the way it is nowadays and what are we going to do to change it is the is the point <laughs> like if you keep listening to those same old mentalities telling you wait 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 then you're going to keep getting the same outcome which is the definition of what insanity so how you get what you want as far as the ladies go a you can stop being lazy which means your health is so important. How can you build an empire when you're sick? And and being obese is, is sick. That's a sickness. Like, once again, things that are being praised that shouldn't be praised. Being big is sick. Any, all types of different things can get into your body at that point or start hurting your body at that point. Your sugar's not getting regulated correctly. You're holding water on your ankles. Your heart's bad. All kinds of things come from holding weight. So it's important. And the fact that people are praising this is, is disgusting, quite frankly. And I'm, I'm, I probably get a lot of backlash for that, but the truth is the truth. And I just can't express that enough. <laughs> like we all know that it's unhealthy, point blank period. People can try to combat it all they want. Say, oh, I know healthy big people and da 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 blah, 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 blah. The point of the matter is carrying all that weight on you is not healthy. And eventually it'll catch up to you. 
Okay. And then B, stop being selfish. <laughs> stop being selfish. Dang near all of these women that you see on these talk shows and things like that, when they're asking them, what do they want? They want the traditional life. They just don't want to give. Stop being selfish. All you Okay, so if you want this person to love you unconditionally, why don't you love them unconditionally? Doesn't that make sense? And you want them to be there to cater to you and all this other stuff. <laughs> like, come on. Then, okay, see, learn to love yourself and D, and em embrace your human role. It's human nature for women to be submissive. Does that mean to stay in an awful situation? Absolutely not. If you're getting beaten or abused, of course I urge you to get help and not stay. But if your main concern is that your man wants you to handle the house while he takes care of the house, and he's included within the blanket term house, which means if he's taking, if, if, if you're in a relationship, okay, and you want the traditional role, you think the man should be paying the bills and all this other stuff and da 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 then your main concern should be if he's handling the house in this way, then I need to handle the house in that way. Make it easier for him. You got kids, you know, it's so much crazy crap going on out there. There are kids getting snatched all the freaking time. Okay, you got to worry about that. You got to worry about all kind of crap sending your kids out. So, of course, he wants you to be there to hold that down. He wants to know that y'all are safe while he's out making his money. But you guys want to make it seem like they're the bad guys. Like, all they want to do is control you and keep you from having a good life. But no, if you would help him, then you could have a great life. You guys are missing the whole point. You're so heck hell-bent on not doing for the man that you're not even realizing that you're hurting yourselves. You're hurting yourselves. Okay, so if if your guy's paying all the bills and you're able to sit at home and enjoy time with your children and keep the house order in order and clean and make sure that everybody's eating and all of that other stuff. Okay, so then eventually after you get your routine in order, then you can work in a way to work from home. And what you do when you start working from home, okay, you start putting that money up. Stop thinking about, oh, this uh, trip and these new Louis Vuittons and this purse I got to have and this outfit. And, oh, and we going to the club and we got to have a date night every week and all of this other stuff. You want to live so extravagant, but your pockets are not there yet. So you sit back and you put money back put money back because guaranteed after so long of that, you're going to be able to retire and do all of that stuff that you want to do with the person you love with your family. And, and, and I'm not even saying that you have to wait that long to retire just to do fun things. No, of course you can do fun things along the way with your kids and your family and to yourself if you need me or you time or whatever. But I'm just saying it makes more sense to stop trying to splurge so much in the beginning and to just sit back and chill. Sit back and chill and let your money build. It's that simple. <laughs> you guys are so worried about trying to find the next person to throw some blame on or to, to hate on or something like that when you should be worried about getting yourselves in order. Get yourselves in order. Stop being lazy. Stop being selfish. Learn to love yourselves, okay? Because <laughs> if you don't love yourself, how can somebody love you? You don't love yourself because you you in a size 20, 16, whatever, or more. You don't love yourself because you 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 putting all of this stuff on to change the way you look. You don't love yourself. You're not taking care of yourself. The time that you put in to install that wig definitely could be time that you put in to take care of your hair. Our hair grows. It grows. You just have to take care of it. And all it takes is a little bit of research. A little bit of research. Stop being lazy. Okay? And stop being, just because you, you know, aren't getting to do certain things like you see famous people, people who are already millionaires doing, okay? Because we're not millionaires. They are. They're able to splurge and throw money at anything that they want. You have not got there yet. 
your goal is to get there. And, and to do it, it takes work. You got to stop letting all the little bitty things that people are doing get under your skin so much that you can't even last in a relationship long enough. <laughs> but that's another video. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this right here. Please leave your comments down um, in the comment section. I really want to know what you guys think about this. And that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.